Bioshock Infinite is a game rated M by the ESRB. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to more Steven Plays Bioshock Infinite on the last episode. Um, I've, been, uh, I've been dying a little bit more. Uh, some of it is not necessarily my fault, uh, because I'm tr I, I've, I've tried to put myself outside of my comfort zone um, and basically into the into dangerous, into harm's way. Uh, and, but at the end of last episode, I got sniped. And that that was that was on me. I was surprised at how easily I could be killed by the sniper rifle. That was nuts. Um, now I'm getting ready to go into Founder's Books right after I check out some of these vending machines. Uh, here's the uh, bigger vending machine. This could be helpful. Shock Chain Aid adds ability to chain lightning strikes from one enemy to another. And Undertow increase number of enemies you can pull in at one time. This is so expensive. I want it. Because I find them fun. Okay, but how do I, how do I use that when I? It just says adds ability, so I just can do it. Like when I shoot someone and they're close enough, the other person gets shot too. Maybe. I don't know. The figures are fun. See, that's even though I use a lot of guns, and I, this might be hard for some people to understand. But even though I use a lot of guns. The Vigors are more interesting to me, which is why I like to invest in them. Because they are, they're enjoyable. Like, Bucking Bronco and Shotgun, like, it's a... Uh, it's an amazing, amazing feeling. Elizabeth? Come on, give me something challenging. There you anything go. else around. Alright, so let's go for the obvious here. Here. Pyromaniac. When struck, 50% chance to burn nearby enemies. Victims take 400 damage over 3 seconds. Okay. This is still... I just... I really got some stuff early in the game that was good for the way I've been playing the game with the RPG. Brother. What Comstock failed to understand is that our contraption is a window not into prophecy, but probability. But his money means the Lutess field could become the Lutess tear, a window between worlds, a window through which you and I might finally be together. Interesting. Pistol ammo. Don't see anything else here? And there's something downstairs. So I guess we'll go take a look. Huh. Dimwit and Duke, in burden of strength. <laughs> hey, disc gun heavy! In Dimwit's defense, uh, disc gun heavy. Check out downstairs! Crap. This would be a perfect Don't opportunity. Like see ya. To use a trap. Take it. Literally standing next to me. All right, let's do this thing. Where'd you go? I know that you walked around here. Oh, health kit. Very rude. Uh. Thanks. Got it. Appreciate it. So, I was gonna say, are they downstairs or upstairs? I think they're down. They're coming downstairs. Be a good opportunity to do this again. No one will miss you. Please come downstairs. I made a trap. I made it just for you. If you don't come downstairs, who will? You know I'm down here, so like, come downstairs, buddy. It, wouldn't it be exciting if you did? You don't seem to want to do that. Did you go back up? Oh, now you're really missing the point. Hey, Boxophone. Oh, come on, dude. Welcome to hell. I hate that I had to do that. There's another Boxophone, though. That's exciting. Sally! 
The bastard snuck in while the Vox was shooting up the place and took my girl! Got her locked up in the salty oyster. His hidden closet, he keeps all his treasures. Just need to hit the button under the register to open it. But... <sighs> the button under the register in the... It's something... something oyster? Noisy oyster? Okay, so we definitely want to check that out. Glad we came downstairs. Heading back up. Yeah, when you know enemies are coming, like, it's a perfect opportunity for a trap, unless they don't go where you want them to go. Cut his balls off. Ah! Idiot. Flaming birds! Y'all dead? Probably dead. Reload. Music stopped, so maybe we're good. <laughs> oh, good God. Uh, should I just go ahead and grab Undertow? I'm getting so much stinking money. Let's just do it. Let's upgrade him. Increases number of enemies you can pull in at one time. Sure. I'm just going to now grab up to three enemies when you hold down and aim at them. Okay, got it. Although I'm running out of, uh... Running out of juices. I'm gonna have to get some more juice. Do you have any juices? I've been using a lot of my juices. Pretty sweet. If you had some juices. I've been using a shotgun. Here's another heater. And I did, uh, decrease my reload time on this. And this is a fun weapon. Even if I end up getting myself somewhat killed over stuff like this. This is, uh, on fire. So, this bar, they want me to go this way. I don't know where the bar is, is my problem. I don't know if it's, like, something I passed? I don't think I saw... I don't think I saw a bar. But now I'm like, maybe I did. I'm, I'll, uh, I'll quickly retrace my steps to see. Make sure I didn't miss anything. No, there it is, the salty oyster. I was here. I must have missed it. Okay, um... It said under the register? Booker, there must be a button under the register. There is. That's what opens the door. Son of a gun. Alright, first things first, infusion. Salt is finally actually done. That's exciting. Uh, shield again makes the most sense. Next? Feel better already. Return to sender. All right, let's check this thing out. Oh. <laughs> Return to sender. Press to generate a magnetic shield. Hold to absorb damage and release to throw it back. Hold and release to create an explosive trap. Alright, drop a magnetic shield in front of you. Hold it to carry the shield in front of you. Holding the shield will drain your salts. Release the shield to throw the bullets back. Wild. Okay, so that's a... Uh, certainly seems like a pretty strong one. We just risked our lives for a bit of titillation? I think I knew her. Worked at a bar on Houston Street. I bet you did. More lockpicks, though. You have been transfused, brother, into a new reality. But your body rejects the cognitive dissonance through confusion and hemorrhage. But we are together, and I will mend you. For what separates us now but a single chromosome? Hmm. Alright, so we're gonna have to do, um, also... This is the... The projectile will detonate when you release it. If you hold it when firing, it will... Oh. Then this is the volley gun. Sure, let's try this out. And I also have this magnetic field. Oh, God. Open it. On it! Thanks 
Oh my god. Wow, that seems quite good. But not so good far away. Sure do. Thanks. Interesting. All right, cool. And of course, they put the the enemies here because they wanted you to be able to test that immediately. Return to Sender's interesting. Um, it actually is a really good, com like really, really good companion to uh, gun uh, gunplay. Like if if your shtick, which I mean, mine sometimes is, is using guns. Then you can walk through and, and basically hold right mouse button to have a shield. Which is, I mean, you don't need me to tell you, is extremely beneficial. So, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. Also, did that... Trash cans refill? One of the things I, I, I realized whenever I came back through here was that the enemies respawned. Or at least a few of them did, which I was not expecting. But it's really not that bad. As long as that sniper doesn't respawn in here. Alright. Man, I'm really glad I took the time to explore all of that. Because I found gear. I found all sorts of stuff. I got a new uh, vigor. That's cool. Hand cannon ammo. Alright, I think we're finally ready to move forward. We won't be able to return. I feel good about this now. And is there something maybe I missed somewhere? Possibly. But I got multiple gear, I got a new Vigor, I got a bunch of other stuff. I feel pretty happy about this. Let's go. Infusion. Alright. Into the next area. Can't check this, uh... cash register. Though there's some lane over there. Elevator. Can you open this? It's a simple dual dial lock. My book said most fools keep the combination no more than 20 feet away. Let's hope we find one of those fools. So we're looking for the code. This might be it. Why are you so keen on lock picking and code breaking? If you put a person in a cage, they develop an interest in such things. I suppose so. And I won't be locked up again. Hey, it's our bird friend! Maybe friend is not the right word. Elizabeth. God. I thought this was our trouble. And then the bird was like, hey, what's up? And I'm like, oh, how's it going? Elizabeth, you promise me. I will stop him. That is an oath you cannot keep. But promise me that if it comes to it, you will not let him take me back. It won't come to that. All right. Elevator time. All right, let's go. Oh, there's stuff happening in Emporia. Lots of stuff. Now this is the area I was told to basically just go ahead and follow the mission because eventually we'll get a chance to explore everything anyway. To which I say, cool, sounds good. Oh, there's a lot of 
Ah, that's the thing I'm saying. We should probably like get on this. Let's go. It's okay. We can. Uh, we want to play this way. We can play this way. Oil spill. I guess I need to shoot that. I was trying to use my vigors, but I could probably just shoot it. Seems like it would also work just fine. Did that cause a fire? Yeah, it's starting. Hey, RPG. That's this thing. Good God. Oh, hey, bud. You're fine. You just take your time. I got everything under control. I'm firing. Everything seems fine. Let's look all around for some other tears that I can utilize. Take that, buddy. Missed! Missed twice, that's not great. That guy really doesn't like being on fire. Or being shot in the face. RPG, oh god, that guy's alive! Still alive! Not anymore. Wrong gun, but okay! How are we doing over there? Man, kill it. What? Oh, God. Okay, this is fine. Good call. Let's go! I really did not do... Oh, God. Oh, God. I need a... Oh, shoot. Mosquito! I'm fine. This is fine. Uh, health kits anywhere. Anywhere. Those are salts. Hope he doesn't shock this line, which he will at some point. Um, switch. I need time to think. Where are you exactly? I don't even see him right now. Where? I don't see him, but I hear him, so I'm like, I'm just gonna keep going. It's like a good move. Where did you go, buddy? I think I jumped off right in the nick of time. Where are you, though? I literally don't see you. That's causing me some level of distress. There he is. Finally dead. Good riddance, butthole. Getting better at, uh, oh, look, a decoy. Oh, that's good. They'll shoot at him. Also, can I get some med kits? There you go. Thanks. All right, so the handyman's down, which I guess was probably the hardest part. Who's left? I got some friends up there. Now, Undertow, I believe, will actually do what I need it to do. Gosh, darn it. He alive? Oh god! Did I push him off? I think I did, because I got Bond Voyage. Well that was uh that was a thing. Um still trying to uh to 
change up things with how I'm I'm attacking. And uh yeah, it worked. Pretty well. Using under undertow to throw someone off is a good idea. Um distracting the handyman with uh the crows and then just blasting him with the RPG is not a bad strategy. Getting there. Getting there. Alright, let's see. Oh man, I'm I'm poor again. <laughs> I bought all the other upgrades. Um The Hailfire explosion. Oh. Hmm. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, without even, like, looking at the other stuff, I'm like, yeah. Increase shotgun cone. Some good stuff here. I, I like the, um... I like... Oh, thanks. Like, obviously, I like the RPG. I'm putting a lot of effort into that because that's just... That's, that's a fun one. Oh, my God. Here's all the other things. Shock duration 8 increases stun duration. Adds explosive damage? I haven't even gotten a chance to really utilize charge because I've been so focused on guns again. God. And I bought the thing, too. Send for less. Increases shield duration and decreases. That's really good. Adds ability to absorb and collect incoming ammunition. What? I mean, that's not really that helpful, honestly, just because you're always, you're drowning in ammo, but it's still such a cool idea. Undertow boost increases effective range. Um, the one I care about the most is probably send for less and charge boost. I can't afford either. But I've uh, done a really good job of increasing the, you know, the stuff I have uh, in, uh, in, in my weapons. Uh, give me this stuff, and there's nothing I need here. I got plenty of ammo for one thing or another. Um, now I need to look around and see what I got. So Handyman has Angry Stompers. When extremely low on health, deals twice as much damage. <laughs> Uh, okay. Urgent care. I still like urgent care better. This is actually really interesting because you could theoretically get your health low, but your shield could be recharged. And if you did that, that would be an interesting way of playing the game. Because you would technically be low on health, and I think it would still work. Interesting. Let's see what else we have around here. More med kits. Okay. There's another hairpin lock. Okay, so this is... I'm not supposed to, like, explore too much here. Because we will eventually, uh, from what I understand, be getting to all of this. So... I'm trying not to go crazy looking at stuff. Oh, give me, give me this. Perfect. So I'm, I'm feeling rejuvenated after that fight. There's supplies all over the place. But also in these in these Skyline fights, um, there's absolutely been times before where they've just, like, also given us, like, lore? And you just had to basically find it. Let's see. There's something over here. <laughs> a hot dog in a lockbox, baby. An RPG ammo. Um, ammo spill. Have I looked? This is where I was before, but I didn't go up these stairs. Another hairpin. Yeah, these are all places that I, I'm under the understanding that eventually we're going to be going anyway. Let me check up here. I might have to get onto another rail to get up where I want to go. But I'm trying... <laughs> God, God help me, I'm trying to be as thorough as possible. I did not mean to do that. Reverse. Gosh darn it. I want to get up here. And then just look around. Um, there is someone up here who has some dollars. Here's some cash. Here you go. So you just teleported, and that's fine. I'm fine with this. Um, and 
And this is RPG. Do it! Now! This is a volley gun. It said RPG, but it's a lie. Um, okay. And this is also hairpin? Oh no! This one's not hairpin! Can you get this open? Give me a second. I'm gonna go in here because this one's not hairpin, and that one that it's done. sticks out to me. Like, well. This could be something. There's a lot of money. There is lore in here. I had trapped the atom in mid-air. Colleagues called my Lutes field quantum levitation. But in fact, it was nothing of the sort. Magicians levitate. My atom simply failed to fall. If an atom could be suspended indefinitely, well, why not an apple? If an apple, why not a city? Like the way you think. I'm up here, but does it mean anything? No. Doesn't seem to be anything additional in here. Okay. I can also hear what sounds like a uh, machine, but it might be below me. That might be what I'm hearing. All right. Um. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing. Okay. Uh. I don't think I need to get on that. I also don't know if I can. It's kind of far away. It just was hovering there. Um, so I think that I'm set. That was the only door that I could see that wasn't a hairpin lock and actually required lockpicks to get into. So at this point, where does the game want me to go? The game wants me to go... He wants me to jump up here. Like, here? Is this where you want me to go? Here. Okay. Alright. I'm pretty sure I've checked everything I can. There's a lot of other things to see. But I think this is where I'll be going next. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time for more Steven Plays. Bioshock Infinite.